Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your love reading for the end of June. You know, typically my readings are love readings, but they don't always turn out the way to be the way that you want them. Okay, so we're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Um, if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want it. This is for the sign of Leo. end of June, June 25th through the 1st of July or whenever it resonates. Content. Many of you could be feeling content at this time. Happy. The hangman, of course, reversed. Oh, the five of cups. So let's just see what happens here. And the death card. Wonderful. Um, five of Cups is, is emotionally disappointed, regrets, loss, letting go. The hangman reverse is letting go. I'm not going to hang around here forever. Stalling. not wanting to or, or deciding to accept this change can go either way. The death card is an ending that brings a new beginning. So I feel as though there's some sort of emotional loss that brings about a new beginning and that could be making you happy because these are mirroring each other. That there's That there is a new beginning. That you're going through a transformation. Maybe that's what's making you happy. Letting go of discontent. The discontent you've been dealing with is probably dissolving. You're probably starting to feel more at ease, Leo. You're heading in the right direction very, very quickly. You're moving forward. You're mastering your emotions. Well, let me get the rest of the cards before I keep talking. See what kind of contradictions we have here. Let me uh, zoom this in. Oh, I'm going to go turn, put that shade down too. So just hold on a minute. There we go. That's better. There is definitely some hurt here. There's some regrets. There's absolutely some regrets. Okay, there's some regrets. There's some hurt. There's some sadness, okay? So there is some sadness. There's no doubt about it. Now, the sadness, you know, could be making you feel emotionally unavailable, but it is progressing you forward in the right direction. It is. You know, maybe it's, 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 it's um, asking you to invest in your future, invest on the new path, invest on the new beginning. Because you are destined for a change. The Wheel of Fortune is your outcome. This is destiny. This is a change, of course. So, Leo, you are destined to move out of a situation. You are, you are destined to move forward. You are destined for success. And for you to find success, you have to accept change. You know, you do. So I think that, you know, but with the hangman, somebody has been resisting change. So maybe you've come to this conclusion that I'm going to accept this change even if it hurts. Okay, even if it hurts, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it, okay? I'm gonna use that strength that I have inside me to deal with it. Okay. It feels as though you know, there's been a lack of emotion in some situation that was making you feel empty inside and that had to go. It had to go so that you could 
feel alive again, okay? So that you could, you know, transition out of this period that you've been in of discontent and difficulty. I think you've been through some difficult period in your life, and now the wheel is spinning in your favor, okay? Destiny is calling. Your course is finally changing. So whatever has happened is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It is. But, you know, true suffering brings growth. True suffering brings the strength within you. So I feel like you guys, you, you probably are going through or have been through some serious suffering here that has given you mental strength. It has. It really has. So we're going to get some clarifiers here. It feels as though... There is a new beginning here. There is definitely a new beginning here. As far as it being love, I can't see that as of yet because it feels as though you're going through some sort of transformation. And this could be internal. Okay, it could be. Um, yeah, you guys are regaining your focus, your passion, your confidence, and your courage. You are. And it's because you're investing in yourself. You're not resisting change anymore. I don't think you are. I think that you guys are no longer stalling. You're taking the bull by the horns. That's what I think is happening. I think there was a period of time where you weren't putting in enough effort or the person you were with. Somebody wasn't putting in effort. They weren't working hard enough. Therefore, it was caused, causing them. This is the Page of Cups reversed. Emotional discontent. There was but now it, it feels as though you are transitioning. You're transitioning out of that and starting to feel relief and happy again. So before I go any further, right around the corner, you guys are transitioning. This is right around the corner. You guys have a new beginning right around the corner. Okay. After a, a, a big period of sadness hurt emotional withdrawal you know you you've you've been through a period of lack of energy lack of drive lack of ambition but i feel like that difficult period in your life is dissolving you are finally moving forward you're moving out of that okay right around the corner i feel like in the future you are absolutely going to invest more you're going to work harder you're going to refine that focus and that concentration and you're going to prevail that's what it looks like that, that you are going to prevail you're going to come back out on top your outcome is good luck, good things, good fortune, the wheel of fortune, okay? Good luck is, is on your side. You've earned it. You have. I feel your, your advice is to heal. This is the three of swords. That's in your advice position. Wisdom comes from suffering. Use the wisdom that you gained from this situation and move on. Just keep it. Keep it in your back pocket. You gained wisdom through suffering. You did. Chalk it up to a lesson well learned. You're, how other people see you. Other people see that you're starting to feel better. Other people see that you're starting to come out of your shell, that you're starting to accept more, that you're starting to move on, that you're starting to be more open. That's how other people see you, being more accepting. But right now, you guys are headed in the right direction very, very quickly. The direction of success. You are headed towards victory and success and transformation. Transformation, transformation. This is in the now position and this is right around the corner. These are both transformation cards. You guys are going through a major transformation in your life right now that is progressing you forward in the right direction. But we want to know about love because this is supposed to be a love reading. In the past, you held on for too long to something, some old mentality. You did. That's what the hangman is, holding on to a perspective that wasn't serving you. In the past, this is the past, thank God. So I think that you guys are, are starting to be more open. I think that you have probably came to the conclusion, hopefully, that you can't, that you're not, you can't control, you can't, con you're, you can't control um, every single outcome. You can't. Some things are out of your control. And I think there has been some control issues in the past, trying to be too controlling. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> and in the past you've lost your you had lost your concentration and I think other people saw that too other people saw that you were losing your focus and your concentration and you may have you know had no energy and drive you had you were losing structure within yourself they saw that okay it's almost like you were falling apart but I think that you've regained the strength um, I feel as though right now it feels like your energy has been it, this the, the Knight of Swords reverse is an energy thief that, and it's funny that I just mentioned that because that's what it is it's like your energy has was like stolen from you it was like zapped zapped and you may have felt like love really wasn't important at this time everything was important but love you might have felt like you you couldn't nurture yourself you couldn't find any discipline you couldn't find any willpower you couldn't find any generosity to offer anyone but it feels like right now at this point right now in the now position again you guys are starting to follow your intuition again you're starting to see situations more clearly and use that wisdom that you've learned through suffer, suffering to move forward. Right now, you're following your intuition. What about love? You want to know about love? Okay, these next three cards are going to be about love, so please make them good. I think that you guys uh, don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. You may be feeling or not knowing what you're worth, okay? Because this is a self-worth card. This is a self-worth card. I mean, they all mean so much. You may not know what you're worth in love. You may not. And that's an obstacle for you. It is an obstacle. This is That's a lie. You are worthy. You are beautiful. You are kind. You are generous. You are strong. You're attractive. I think right now you're going through some sort of rebirth. You're going through a renewal. You're going through some healing. And at this point, you, have, you still have some obstacles in the way and you need to stop. You need, to, you need to remove them. You do. You need to remove the obstacles that are holding you back from loving yourself. So do I see new love coming in? I don't see new love coming in. Do I see love being at the top of the list this week? Nope, I don't see love being at the top of the list. I feel like this is a week of you transforming. You are going through an inner transformation that is allowing you to regain your focus and concentration on your own growth, on your own self-love, on your own path. On your own victory and success. That's what this is about. This isn't a week of love. I can't tell you it is. Self-love, maybe. Happiness within yourself. That you have re-found the strength that has been zapped from you. Yeah. Your advice this is advice over here. You need to be grateful. Be grateful. Somebody is ungrateful for for what they have and that's the truth be grateful be grateful for your eyes be grateful for your arms be grateful for the roof be grateful for the food you have be grateful for your freedom be grateful for everything be grateful somebody isn't because this is reversed be grateful for the small things that you have that people just think about the people in third world countries or wherever that don't have these things be grateful for all that you have especially your freedom It's time to make some conscious changes in your life and remove the burdens that are holding you back. And ungratefulness is absolutely a burden. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten all that you need to be grateful for? I mean, that nine of pentacles is somebody that is not grateful, period. Ungrateful. 
Have you forgotten? You have plenty. You have enough. You don't need to hold on so tightly. You need to release. Let go of obsessions to have more. It's not about having more. It's about being happy and content. So I feel like this is a week of becoming more happy and content than you have been in a long time. The angels are here. Okay, the angels are here. They're here for you. They're with you. They are. And I can tell you because you have four fours. We have the four of wands, the four of cups, the four of pentacles, and the emperor is buried down here. We have four fours. Four, 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 four. That's an angel number. The angels are here. Ask them for help. Ask them for healing. Ask them whatever you want and they will come and they will help you. You may not see the help. It may not come when you when you when you think it's gonna come, but they'll come. They hear you. Pay attention to the signs at this time. Ask your angels for help. Fours are also about inner peace and inner wisdom, and that's what you are gaining at the end of June: inner peace and inner wisdom. The suffering that you've been through, the lack of energy, you are going through a transformation. And you still are. It's not over yet. Part of this wisdom that you're gaining has to do with being grateful. So keep that in mind. Be grateful. Thank the universe. Thank your angels. Thank God. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my animals. Thank you for my everything. Thank you for my breath. Thank you for my feet thank you for everything thank you the more grateful you are the more you will receive somebody hasn't been thanking they've forgotten all is well you're on the right path you are on the right path keep going keep going keep going and I'm going to stop right there you're headed in the right directions towards victory and success. Pretty quickly, I might add. Don't give up. It's right around the corner. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. However that resonates with you. Forgiveness. Now, a soulmate can come in, in any shape or form. It could be a child, could be an animal, could be a friend, could be a lover. Soulmate could be somebody who's passed away and they're here to help you. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Let go of resentment for all the struggles you've been through. Let go of it. It all happened for a reason. To give you that strength that only Leo can have. Be grateful for those struggles. Because you're strong. Stronger now. Talk to you later.